Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the lookup formula in a unique way in order to find the last match in a list of various items and return a corresponding column value for that match. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here is our scenario. We have a list of our reps and their sales for the day. And I want to be able to select a rep and have it return what the last sale or the last value of column C that matches the rep that I choose. And like I said, we're going to use the lookup function to do so. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my drop-down list so I can choose my reps. Now here's the five different reps I have. So I'm just going to go to the data tab, data validation, choose list, and my source is going to be here. And I'll say OK. So now I have my drop-down list there. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some conditional formatting. And the only purpose of this is to test my formula to make sure it works properly. So I'm going to go to New Rule, use a formula to determine which cell to format. format. And I'm going to say equals this cell equals dollar sign B2. And what that will do is that will highlight the entire row if it finds a match in column B. So I'm going to just choose a format such like that, say OK and OK. Now let's test our conditional formatting. If I choose Joe, you can see all the ones with a Joe matching in column B are highlighted and I can see my last sale here is 637. So that's what I'm going to want to return with my formula. I choose Mary and again I see the three that match that and my last sale there is 1054. Now this could be the final solution if we want it to be but let's say we had thousands of rows and it wouldn't make sense to scan through all of them to find something. I want to populate cell F2 with the match for the last one for the rep that I choose. So here's the formula. I'm going to enter the formula first, then I'm going to go back and explain how it works. So the formula is going to be a lookup formula. And my lookup value is going to be the number 2. And my lookup vector is going to be 1 divided by, and it's going to be this list, and I'm going to lock that, equals this cell here, and that's my lookup vector. And then my result vector is going to be the sales column. Again, I'm going to lock that, close that. And just for now, I'm going to wrap all that in an if error function. And comma, double quotes to give me a blank. And there you have where it says, Mary, I have 1054. And if we look at the three selections for Mary that are highlighted, 1054 is the result. I put an if error function, so if I had nothing there, I would get a blank instead of getting uh, an error message. So now if I chose Ted, you can see I have four choices of Ted. 1239, I'm sorry, 1329 is the last value. 1329 matches. Choose another one like Sue. And again, three of the reps are Sue. The last is 885, 885 matches. So let's see how this works. Again, I'm looking up the number 2 in this list of 1 divided by this match here. So let's take a look and see what happens here. If I look at that list in column B equaling E2, and I hit F9, you see I get a bunch of trues and falses. In fact, I have three trues in there, one here, there, and there, which correspond to the three rows where there's a match. Now in Excel, a false is a 0, a true is a 1. So if I take 1 divided by that, I'm going to get a bunch of divide by zeros and 3 1's. So if I click on lookup vector to include my 1 divided by, and I hit F9, you see I get a bunch of divide by zeros. I have a 1 there, I have a 1 there, and I have another 1 right here. So in essence, what the lookup formula is going to do is look up the number 2 in a series of three number 1s. Now in lookup, with the lookup function, 
it's a, an approximate match, just like a VLOOKUP when you use the TRUE as your match type. It's an approximate match. It goes down the list. When it can't find a number, it goes to the last one that it finds that is less than, and it'll give you that last value. So I'm going to hit Escape here. So let's give you an example of that. Here I have some numbers 4, 5, 8, and 9. And I'm going to do an equals lookup. And I'm just saying, what's my lookup value? I'm going to put 12 because it's larger than any number I have here. And my array is going to be that. I'll close that, hit enter, and I get an H because it went down looking for the number 12, couldn't find it, went up to the last one that is less than it, which is 9, and it returned an H. I'm missing here, let's say, the number 6. If I chose to look up the number 6, it's going to return an F. It goes down 4, 5, then it gets to 8. That's too far. I'll go back up to the last one it matches or is less than what I'm looking for, and it'll return that value. So again, when I use my formula up here of 1 divided by, I got three 1s and a bunch of divide by zeros. So I'm looking up a 2. It goes down, hits the three 1s runs out of numbers, it goes back up to the last one that is less than it, it returns this one for Sue, 885, and there I have the result of the last value in my match in my array using lookup. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.